I'm J.R. Fox, Deputy Chief of Operations for the Campbell County Fire Department in Northeast Wyoming. This is our new hazmat truck. Currently we have two apparatus, two separate hazmat teams with the, the county hazmat team and the Wyoming Office of Homeland Security. Regional response team, one of eight teams in the state. So we're going to take two apparatus and combine them into this, this piece of apparatus. So this chassis is on a Spartan Gladiator. A little different configuration inside with the seating just because Typically on our incidents, we're supported by uh, engine companies with hazmat technicians, so we didn't need uh, the typical configuration for a custom cab. One thing we did decide to add to this, this piece of apparatus is, is our toolboxes that are built in. We have a lot of loose items uh, that can easily go missing, a lot of kits to keep track of. So we added these toolboxes to, to stay more organized and, and be more efficient once once we get on scene. So in the boxes we'll have a lot of different kits for plugging, patching, lots of hand tools, lots of miscellaneous items and kits that can easily be misplaced. We want to keep them organized, we want to keep them accessible so when we need it it's it's readily available to us. With a lot of the hazmat equipment we also went with the, the transverse slides just because of the bulk amount of equipment that we're going to have to, to store on this truck. We really wanted to make sure that we're planning for the future and we're going to get at least another 20 years out of this truck. One of my favorite parts of, of this truck is the low, the, the low storage for some of our heavier kits. So here we plan to put some of our chlorine kits. Um, you know, they're going to weigh anywhere from 70, 80, 100 pounds. And then we utilize some unused storage up above for a ladder. In our jurisdiction, we have a lot of rail, a lot of over the road trucks. So having a ladder with some roof hooks that we can do stinging operations and some of that kind of stuff is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be important for us to have. We cover five counties in Northeastern Wyoming. Some of these jurisdictions we go to may not have the ability to perform decontamination operations. So we currently have two trailers in our inventory that are, that are decontamination trailers, so not ideal, but if we had to, we could, uh, we could tow with this vehicle as well. Up top, again, planning for the future. We have three coffin type storage areas so we can put a lot of the booms and pads, a lot of the, the stuff that just bulks out in normal trucks. We also have our overpack drums up on top stuff that may not use on a daily basis but we want to keep it with us. We decided to go with the, the poly boxes just to keep it more organized with a compartment this large. Underneath is where we'll store some of our longer items, uh, weather station booms, our stinging pipes. So this is, uh, this is an overpack drum, comes in a set and again it's, it's, an, art, it's an item that's hard to store, it's something that's not used daily but when you need it, you need to get to it quickly. Nice system, just Velcros in. One person can lift it, get it out of the way, so you can get to whatever else you need to up here. This compartment, this is, we're pretty excited about this. It's been around for a little bit, but it's the first time we've owned one. This is a um, oil absorbent hopper, or floor dry hopper. I think it holds 100 pounds of floor dry, so we can store it with buckets underneath, and as much as we need, we don't have to mess with partial bags anymore, spilling everywhere, making a mess. Most of our SCBAs will be stored exterior with extra bottle storage. Sometimes, you know, when we have to do hot tapping and stuff, we use compressed air or high pressure air for a lot of different operations. So we've got extra storage there. And then SVI also has um, above the, the wheel well storage for an additional four um, 88 cubic, cubic feet bottles. We wanted a compartment that would allow our folks outside to get equipment and you, and you can get it from the inside or the outside in this, this compartment. It's got electricity so we can, we can charge, put a calibration station, some of those kind of things in here that we would need. Up top we have, a, have an awning, so in the summer it'll be nice to get our folks out of the sun. We also have a lot of wind, it has a built-in wind, wind load sensor so it automatically will track if, uh, if those high winds do come up and, and we're otherwise engaged in operations. So down here we just have our, our standard Plymo vent boot. This particular one's magnetic. All of our 
apparatus come with the Plymo vent installed, so we have the exhaust capture system in all of our stations. Below, with an onboard generator, we have a 200 foot reel, four different plugs depending on what we need to run. We've got that capability. So in here we do have, have seating for two, two firefighters. This is more of our command area. So we've got a smart TV in here. It'll be connected to a, a laptop and we can project those images in the room behind us. But in here we do have a couple of radios. We do have the apparatus um, displays so we can run a lot of the features of the apparatus that's all, that's all in these displays as well as some overhead compartmentation for research materials, documentation. Um, and then of course, seems like you never have enough flat space to to do reports and, and to, to shuffle through some of the paperwork that we get to do. As, as I mentioned earlier, we do have four seasons. Uh, so this is the place for our, our folks to, to get suited up. We, we're in a slide out. We can do the briefings behind us. We've got the, the TV that we can put anything we want on, uh, site plans, ICS forms, wherever we want to put. In here, we've got some bench seat storage. So we can put a lot of our level A, level B suits, boots. See, I put a lot of this whiteboard material on here throughout this room so we can make notes. And then underneath, obviously, we have more compartmentation. This is the cabinet from the inside that allows us to, to store those items that we could use on uh, exterior or interior. Another radio. For communications, this is the a lot of the switches for the for the apparatus. We do have a refrigerator. Let's make sure our folks are staying hydrated. We'll have some thermal imaging cameras, and then the netting really makes it nice for one compartmentation. As we have you know different different items that we want to make sure they're secured um, going down the road. One thing we also did was we put a command light up on top with the LEDs. So we've got the protective shroud. Everything else was, was pretty much standard. 